During Square Enix's recent shareholders meeting, the company expressed its consideration of remastering more of its older titles following the positive reception of the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. In case you are out of the loop, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters are a re-release or a remaster, as if you couldn't tell by uh, by the title, of the first six Final Fantasies. So uh, we kind of know Final Fantasy today as more like you know, 3D, really polished uh, games for better or for worse. Actually, mostly for worse. A lot of people have said that the uh, new Final Fantasies are not that great. And the OG ones, like 7 or below, are where it's at. And so 1 through 6 are like uh, 2D games. And yeah, this uh, recent Pixel Remaster, it's just uh, it's a re-release of all six of them in one game. Well, sidebar 2, I'm very disappointed that I can't get it on Xbox. I don't know why they haven't offered it on Xbox. It's only on uh, PlayStation and Nintendo and I think PC as well, but no love for Xbox. You know, I really want to get into it. I've uh, never really played a Final Fantasy game besides like half of seven, and I absolutely loved it. So getting back to this shareholder meeting, the 43rd annual shareholders meeting Q&A included a question about potential remasters for other past titles, with a shareholder expressing their interest in playing Xenogears. So in response, a member of the board stated that while they could not share specific information, about new titles, Square Enix is exploring various ideas within the company and encouraged shareholders to look forward to forthcoming announcements. So this would suggest that there may be a possibility of the shareholders' wish for a Xenogears remaster being fulfilled, and many other Square Enix games also being remastered. Square Enix has predominantly focused on releasing remakes rather than less resource-intensive remasters. For example, they recently announced Star Ocean The Second Story R, which is a remake of the original PS1 game utilizing the HD 2D art style, which is seen in Octopath Traveler and the Live A Live Remake, or Live A Live, I, I actually don't know how to say it. Additionally, a Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake is also in the pipeline. Apart from discussing remasters, Square Enix was questioned about the longer gaps between its game releases compared to its peers, and generally the board's thoughts on the current release schedule for upcoming games. In response, a board member mentioned the challenging nature of developing major titles, which has led to longer development lead times. However, they expressed confidence that the strengthening of their internal development will benefit the development of not only major titles, but also new IPs under the new management team. While Square Enix has the highly anticipated, or maybe not so highly anticipated, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth projects in the works, yeah, apparently the first one was not very good, and that is set for an early 2024 release as revealed in a recent trailer. The company's consideration of additional remasters indicates a potential for more exciting announcements in the future. And I have to say, you know, with that uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 pixel remaster kind of popping off, I'd like to think, I mean, you could really do that same thing with the Dragon Quest series. I just played the new Dragon Quest. I don't even know what it is. I, okay, I'm going to look it up. The one with the, the purple guy, the one that the guy, he wears the, the purple shirt. Dragon Quest 11. And that's what it is. And I loved it. I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, the fact that they are on 11, that tells me they could easily do a, well, basically the same thing that they did with Final Fantasy. Do a, do a pixel remaster of the first like seven or eight Dragon Quest games. That would be awesome. I actually looked it up a couple weeks ago and I determined that apparently according to hardcore Dragon Quest fans, the best one is like uh, one of the OG ones. It's like, like three or five or something, which was made like 20 or 30 years ago. So all I'm saying is I think they have have uh, a lot of potential Square Enix to remast a lot of their uh, old gold games. They could really pop off today. I think they could really make a comeback. It could be introduced to people like me who didn't really grow up playing these games, but now could. I mean, you saw how many times they uh, re remastered all like the Kingdom Hearts games, and that was just kind of a clown show. But I mean, the way that they did the uh, Final Fantasy Pixel remastered has been uh, very clean, very good, very popular, very uh, good for their wallets. And I think Money Talks, so I think Square Enix will be remastering a lot of their old gold games very soon.